Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, but right now we got to talk about stealing their wheat and barley and all of the grains. Prince Albert's privateers agreed, agreed to join any war we have with the Kingdom of Manitoba. Is this not wonderful? It really is. Uh, so we're still kind of hanging out as Republic of the Three Republics. We're doing and looking pretty darn good. Of course, we prefer stuff as cores, but justification for conquering state. Cooper's down for Republic of Three Rivers. It's finally done, Erino. So let's probably stop training. See if we can hang out and enjoy ourselves and have a little bit more conflict because, well, having a little bit of conflict can be sometimes a little bit of fun. So, um, a little bit more time first. Oh, we've got some comments to go through, such as uh, Gimli needs to host a whiskey business for Canada since they have the Crown Royal Brewery, along with 24 huge buildings filled with aging barrels of whiskey. Oh, that's cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're pretty much good to go. Let's go in. Oh, they immediately attack us. I didn't think they actually would, but that's all right. Uh, here, be inspirational. We could all use a little bit of inspiration in our lives. Do that too. Go down there. Um, need that too. Why not? Let's train up at and a little bit ahead of town. We go there. Do that too. Why not? Um, here, do that. We try and circle them because we can. Why not? Now the comment was, "Yes, I just finished a playthrough of this nation. It was so much fun." Someone says, "Is it me or does it look like?" Our focus tree is an improved uh, generic focus tree. I don't know. It might be. Uh, let's see if we can do that, too. Uh, let's see. As long as we keep these guys in place, that'd be fine. We're not going to really attack as a full frontline nation just yet. And ooh, then that division will go bye-bye. And let's see. Another comment from yesterday was, I really hope to see the Western Brotherhood as one of your campaigns. And my answer to that is, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll definitely play as a Western Brotherhood eventually, too. Uh, I guess we did. Uh, someone says, yes. I don't even know what else to comment. I asked Mr. Mokulover if he can do an Old World Blues videos three years ago, and he's not disappointed since. And if you've been on my channel since, like, three years ago, then, oh, thank you. Thank you very much for watching since then. Hearts of Steel. And, of course, I read this on last time, hand out beer rations. I think I read Relax Brewing Laws, too, so please read about this one, too, if you like to. Once again, and there we go. I guess come towards Ashley, and you get okay, down here, maybe? Cool. And another comment, is, comment says from the last video, Ah, uh, yes. Freeing Poland. Someone says, so, United Canada? We'll see how far we actually go in this campaign. Uh, we actually can uh, do that, which would be kind of cool if we can. Someone says, neat. Someone else says, cool. Nice. And a lot of comments for the algorithm. Thank you very much. Kazaz Legion is having fun. Uh, it goes out of that one. We do that one. How much money do we actually have? Uh, 33 a month is not bad. Procurement things, war measures, propaganda effort. Get some more war sport. Plating. Nice. Very good. Very, very good. And there goes the two peoples. Not too shabby. Now we get to core them. We have still no infantry armor, which sucks, 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 sucks. But we'll work on it. Do that, please. Thank you. And getting to put a convoys. Yeah, we could use a lot more infantry armor and whatnot. Yeah, do a lot of that stuff. So we'll do brewing laws. We still need to do hand out beer rations. We'll do the northern north end development project too. With both the constructive means of citizen motivation at the best, we can begin our northern north end development project. The barren lands three rivers will soon fulfill their magnificent industrial purpose, as we will slowly justify on more people such as Dramate maybe eventually, or maybe. Bismarck, or even the Old Believers. Root out, rooting our corruption. While we define the Three Rivers as a nation to abound in no king, corruption remains lying in wait. Monarch schemes and ne'er do wells be darned. We must acquisitively purge these loose ends, curtail all the merchants. At least if we swayed our merchants for too long, only one, one can only imagine all the backroom deals and complicit imports that have passed through our borders. We must impose restrictions now before we lose control later. Uh, and lockstep. I remember reading about lockstep in an old war book. The tight knitted formations that help front lines when I had call. I had to call quick uh, shots. It's easy. It just dawned upon me that's a part of the standard standardized training. Rally up the soldiers. We've got something to learn. Eloy Steel. All right, keep making and making, making, making. Finally, we have enough to make start making a second line here too. Um, here we can do that as we can. Bright, let's get some more goods. Let's get some more replaced ability. That ain't too bad. All right, as just five worlds. War goals are done. Or war goal is done. Um, after this one, after we do this one and lockstep, we have some more. Oh, actually, we well. We're still going to take as much territory as possible, but still. The Iron Chancellor looks really cool. The birthplace of the revolution. Wow. So 
Social worker, Iron Chancellor. Well, the lucky draw, Riding Mounted Musketeers. All Corners owned by the Iron huh. Well, we'll see, eventually. But, let's have a little bit of fun here first. Uh, actually, it looks like we can't win that well. Hmm. Go ahead of time, that's okay. Well, let's see what we can do. Getting quite a bit of good army XP. Um, do we have any plane action here? Mm. Yeah, but no, not really, because the planes are too far away. I love we just completely surrounded all the enemy divisions. Nice. I just had to pick city. Um, do we have standing rock here? Oh. Oh, that's kind of nice. Coring cost for other territories. Rock Ridge down here. Twin Lakes. Oh. And over there. Hammond. To the merchants. To in lockstep. Well, I'll start just fighting on these guys too then. Might as well. Not bad. Couch tees. 200 versus 1,000. Pretty nice overall. So crown and a jewel, more trade nodes. Uh, we'll probably start making another army here too. I think that'd be f probably for the best. Let's see, refugees. Point uh, one percent. Not too worried about the two hundred ten only. Also, we did go to outside of battalions just to get some way more daily compliance because compliance is super, 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 super important. Um, just for all those times, damage garrison would be nice to go down a little bit more. Anyone here that we really care about? Actually, this still costs one twenty five. No, we're going over that. Please go right ahead. Well, where are people now? So, actually, yeah, more ruler, less elites. So, and we already have Henry Morgan here on a speaker, not the moon power. So, we're those times. Honestly, this would be pretty beneficial for us to do. So, let's do that. And uh, research speed, medical technology. Eh, it's all right stuff. After in lockstep, volunteer force ain't bad. That's actually really good for if you want to send stuff. Sophisticated infantry tech. Old Believers? Oh, we do that for free, eh? Um, old Believers be darned if we are meant to be pushed onward, then we must free ourselves from the false notions and focus our sights on reality. Straight missionaries from the Old Believers will begin trickling into our nation with no goods. Should we liberate the delusion from the realists? Lucas Wigfall. Hello, Lucas Wigfall. Be inspirational, anyways. Be inspirational. Five eighteen is not bad, but do we have enough for dynamite at the very least, or at least anti tank? Maybe. Yes, we do. Dynamite. No, of course not. Why would we? Let's hard to do it anyways. And. Um, That technology on a speaker, non core manpower, multi population, people population factor. Sure, why not? Make more. And after this one, advanced weaponry, the unbound. Well, let's start working on Twin Lakes. Our Twin Lakes have always been the driving force of our small and restricted economy. Perhaps we can arouse public support for investing further into the ports. That'd be quite nice. Quite nice, actually. We have a lot to improve upon. Good. We can only get 1.25 foot of fire every single day. Not bad. Could be better, but whatever. Oh, that's where Gimli is. That's what the person was talking about. Ah, Thornton Killa Erickson. Wow. Wealthy, huh? 
Can I focus tree? Oh. You actually can't go to order them right now. Hmm. What if we were to do that? Will we have enough divisions to guard this entire line? No, not yet. You come over here. Hang on right there. How long did to wait for this one to expire? 20 cents. That's not bad. It gives a little bit of time. Standing rock. A lot of divisions there. The armor tactics. Radar. Construction speed. Uh, let's at least get the airport or air base up here. Airport. Huh. And boom. Nice. Cool. Actually, how many truck landing tractors do we have? Only 10, huh? Not good enough. Well, let's do one division per tile. Immediately attack us here. You guys might be able to do okay here, especially with air support. I'm not too worried about this front. If it starts faltering, whatever. But Twin Lakes. Do we actually get encircled here? Not yet, really. Not yet. Not really. Not a lot to lose. You guys force the attack. And you will help with the attack. And you all start attacking. This way they cannot do anything else. They can move as much as they like, but... I'm not going to do well in the end to keep this up. Good amount of damage, though. We lost quite a few guys, which does suck. But whatever. Oh my gosh, this is so stupid. Yeah. I'm going to have to redo this war off screen. We'll see. I'm out. Where's a flipping capital? White horse is all the way down here. Jesus Christ. Come on. Well, I think I'm going to redo this one maybe off screen because we're going to get uh, sort of encircled. It's kind of ridiculous how strong enemy divisions are. So, especially when they have all this cavalry. Are you kidding me, bro? Are you kidding me? But let's do another focus first. Um, Garrison and Gary. For Gary is an abandoned monument to the old world's military. Having switched hands multiple times in the course of centuries, it's still so proud enough to have some remaining ruins to this day. It could stand as their only bulwark against the kingdom of Manitoba. Democracy requires strength. For Gary is a livable name and an unforgettable structure. It's now a symbol of hope to our citizens. Getting a bill signed to construct further armament workshops on the fort's bowels will be an easy task. All right, everyone. So it looks like we got some radio now, and we are currently doing securing Stonewall, the peerless nation of Manitoba. That it is separated by a single strip of land is gearing up for a conflict with our free republic. The only way we can hold against such a massive force is by securing chokeholds with outposts. Hidden armories. <clears throat> After repairing the ruins of Fort Gary, we found a most unexpected surprise. A full-on arms workshop capable of supplying two divisions. How it got there and who built remains unknown, but we can certainly refurbish it with its vast machinery. Alright, hopefully we don't make the same mistake as we did with the uh, Standing Rock, or which... Honestly, it's not overpowered at all, but they got a plus like 20% more attack, which is kind of ridiculous. But maybe that's just me. But, let's see... Which should be really easy to play as that nation whenever we do do that nation. So we will get get to there eventually. I love how bad infantry is. I just just it's so great, is it not? Infantry is straight garbage. Which I shouldn't be using as it uh, you know as attackers, but whatever. Really should be using some special forces. But industry first. And maybe we'll get some special forces in the end of this. How about you guys just go there and just go north? Pilot mound. Securing stonewall, nice. And our bases. I've been slowly recording more stuff too. Um, reconvene the council. Well. Hmm. Oh, all believers are gone. Thank you. Hmm. 
Maybe we do this one first. Arborg Junta holds rifle three territory, three rivers territory, and governs over its people within our face. It's down the rebellion spread further north and removes the thinly veiled tyrants from power. And there is a darn up there as well. The Juntas are by whom? Viscount O'Brien. Alright. Generic focus tree. I'm um, looking okay so far. Go ahead and keep training. Even though we could probably really use a uh, base up here like this. And keep improving our industry. Hang dogs. Only Mackin. La Mackin. Lacking quite a bit of army XP. Oh, no, army XP. Infantry armor. Um, 186 is not bad. I do want to core this because you do get another factory or two. There's not a lot of population, and it takes forever to core everything up here, so. There, do that one. Hey, 60, not bad. Hey, you got another uh, thing there. Nice, 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 nice. Keep training for now. Uh, it shouldn't take too long to actually uh, construct the supply base. We're already a quarter of the way through, so. About a month left, which is not bad. Hidden armies would be good to do. Yellowstone Park. The more. Uh, they take each other out now, the better. Oh, oh whoops. Um, what do we want? Research. Anything over here. 75 is quite a bit. In fact, nothing. Special forces, nothing. Or we'll save it. Energy platoon designer cost goes down even further. So right now, we wanted to edit this. That doesn't do anything but this. Only cost two, which honestly doesn't mean very much to me right now at all. Hmm. Well, that's alright, whatever. Whatever. <coughs> Fox Street's quite large. Quite large. Alright. Gilling the Junta. And then reconvene the council. The conflict between the kingdom and its rebels has long been la long lasting. The truly pessimistic believe it never ends. For change to be made, we must unite the strength of Manitoba's people. The second coalition, huh? So lucky draw, the second coalition. Open up the vault. Let us Congress become add people to our coalition. If they want to, can a dairy in resistance. Or Renaissance. Such agreement, breaking neutrality, neutral zones. Marching on Manitoba. Kingdom of Manitoba. Sending a message. Boosting compliance with the kingdom's territories, but you need to conquer them first. Ending feudalism. Fate of the Queen. Confiscating. Aristocratic lands. Through merit, not blood. Remembering the fallen. Oh, interesting. Iron Chancellor. If the forge hold of Gimli joined the coalition, they will become a puppet. If not, we'll conquer them. Which I kind of honestly prefer that one. But we shall see. So after them, there's Gimli. There's a Junta. There's a Mantoba. I'm waiting for these guys. Drama. Dramatic theater, theater dramatics. I do want to go through all this before we actually do that, so. Um, Crow Creek, maybe? Is there anything about Crow Creek? Crown Crow. Nothing. So, they might be another, uh, not victim, but another group we want to take out. And they, you know, need focus troop, just fine. About a thousand manpower. They should be relatively easy to take out, but you know, you never know. Nice. Cool. Supplies, not great. Status is 71%. We did get nothing up here done, which is nice. Um. Yeah, but yeah, do all that stuff, that's fine. We're gonna be the council. And follow it up with Oh, we can do this one. Oh we need oh we core the territory. Securing another flank. Fairland. Well, I think we did talk about central trade out, but the Republic of Three Rivers stands at a perfect geographical position in Canada, being the central connection between three usable rivers. While we've been exploring this advantage, so others so have others using our waters freely with no sheriffs. We can't allow us any longer. Pretty much. What, they don't start attacking us? What? What do you mean? They have 13 divisions in total. Nice. Doing any damage here? Now yeah, we are. At least a little bit.
Let's move 134 for that. Over here, we'll grab some more resources because we don't really need them, but whatever. Alright. Focus fire, not bad. And get away well for that. Little shack market. Go ahead to town, get a little more manpower because why not? <clears throat> And you go over there too. Hey, the capital is going to fall again, hopefully. Nice. Really, you gotta go get all the Nort Guard Post? Seriously, bro? Alright, uh, we'll go straight into there. Lost about 77. Out of Burgjunta is ours. Very nice. Reconvene the council. The second coalition. Eloy Steele wishes to end the conflict between the kingdom and its rebels once and for all. Accordingly, they've called. The people of Manitoba together discuss a coalition to take down the king. A popular fund in the spirit of the original Canadian people's front. We shall prevail. We shall fight and be right. Well, you go first. Peaceful integration. Or screwing her than a flank. Cool, already, huh? It's not bad according to North Guard. So we were here. One. Three. I want to core whatever we can. I mean, this is not bad to core. But coring this is just better overall. It's because you get more manpower more quickly and more factory. So, whoever one has Arborg. Peaceful integration. Peoples that were ignorant, uh, borderline slaves under the Junta now worship us as saviors and arbiters of peace and prosperity. A popularity of the rebellion never ceases to amaze their soldiers. Can we actually do something here this time? Yes, no, maybe so. Uh, the Marshall Republic. Who's he? The Marshall Republic. Jack Reed. John Jack Reed? You have as much army speed as possible. Oh. And maybe we should rescue research. Uh, hmm. Special forces. No more free civvies costing like 20 to 30 political power. Oh, with the followers of the apocalypse. That's sad. Pierre Border Post. It's part of the Dakotas, right? Or the Plague Lands, I guess. Nice. Hey, good. Smithers Landing, eh? Belden Area Authority. The Order of St. Joseph, huh? Cool. Hmm, now we're good. And our Borges. Followed up with Saving Darn Souls. The Darn Dar loose democracy that is grasping at survival in these treacherous times. Perhaps we should march north and annex their territories and show them the glory of working under a state with it with a will of steel. Not bad. No, research slots, not bad too. Guess we probably can't do that one. I wanna kinda of wait and see it longer if, if we don't do that one. Will be will it be okay? Probably. Probably saving the darn souls, though, sounds like a good idea. Not enough, still not enough. Anything here? No? Level 5? Nice. <coughs> and Nanamo. Nanaimo. At least with these guys, we get a lot of equipment. That's nice. Alrighty, tidy. Rapid City, now how many are we out now? Minus 2200, that's pretty normal for us. Radios are okay, anti tank, demo equipment. Um, you guys. Some flipping recon on you guys. Plant cultivation. 
go with some LMGs, pot standardization. Yeah, it's a little bit ahead of time, but whatever. Um, hmm. Here. Got off a couple divisions, that's all. After them, four fathers. My apologies about that, but let's continue with the war. Um, we've encircled them already. Hopefully they don't actually try to do anything too funky here. And, uh, yeah. Overall, not bad, not bad, not bad. Um, beloved leader, recovery rate. Uh, maybe more max planner. Kind of like that one. Alrighty. Good, good, good. Getting rid of a couple extra enemy divisions is always nice as well. And then, uh, let's go in. Should be okay. Oh, Tour Drop City? Have I been there? I don't know. For Father's Course, it's next, though. Wow. Actually. That's a, that's a long time. At least we get some peaceful integration, though. Of course, we'll be saving the darn souls, which would be also very nice. Uh, you don't want to, because you can. Why not? Oh, 60 day focus. Okay. I didn't realize it was 60 days for that. Wow. Mm. North End Markets. Being the people. Advanced weaponry. Of course. Rumors speak of a woman with, who rules with a cruel hand, guided by wicked, nonsensical prophecies. Their danger regards on one that falls upon us to quell. Volunteers. We have a lot of focuses to do, which I do like. Don't get me wrong, I like it a lot. So we're going to do this one eventually. The Torch of Civilization. Um, North End Market. North End has become home to many craftsmen and general hard working hard workers over the years have uh, become oh, look at that, more and more prevalent. With a bit of investment and support, we can start a market with all these products for those that pass by our waters. A deal's a deal, even with a dirty dealer. The Americans are treacherous, brutal people who occupied Canada and exploited us for years. Follow up on those atrocities with a nuclear holocaust. That said, they, they have money and who are to systematic, and we and who are we to systematically oppress or to systematic oppression standing in our way? Martha Santiago offered us a large chunk of cash in exchange for some more airships. We should make a deal. So let's see bombs again. Uh, as much as I like that, let's make a deal. Americans always want to make a good deal. On the road again. Our roads were once covered in tarmac and cleans monthly. Now they are a sad mess that they have masses of dirt and tracks covering the whole uh, length. If we want to truly become a merchant economy, we must fund an effort to repair those roads. Are we not done with this war yet? My goodness. Oh, they're over here too. That's fine. And we'll just kill them all off here too. That'd be nice. And Fort Gary's workshops. Fort Gary's is our greatest workshop, <clears throat> or our greatest up and coming project, with hundreds flocking each week to get in on the future investments in the vicinity. Let's encourage these folks by clearing land for their homes and humble abodes. Nice. Oh dear God, supply's gonna be so bad through here, is it not? You're gonna do that too. Uh, we're doing a lot better radio. Uh, can you still use a lot more infantry armor? Best cover and equipment, stuff like that. Not bad. Well, let's go ahead and get this one done first. Because I'll do I'll, like all 40s off screen. On public schooling, it's okay. And then the North End Development Project we talked about, and the Trans Kona Bridge. Sunken in the waters, remnants of a rusted arches and crisscross metal beams. It was once a grand railway bridge glares at us from the shore. Oh, my bad. From the shore. Uh, <clears throat> both a memory and an opportunity. Salvaging or rebuilding this bridge could mean a grand expansion of our industry. Now, forefathers need to go bye-bye real quick. Real quick, like. But we're doing okay. Uh, we're doing better on portable radios. We're doing a lot better infantry armor. Um, if these guys really want to do that, I'm okay with that as well. Uh, they're probably going to die here anyway, so. Keep moving on in if we possibly can. Modify officer core. Well, we got all the way over here as well. We're on the road again. Uh, we're going to keep going with Fort Geary's workshops. And more army XP, sure. Special forces. We are finally researching special... Special forces as well. As we continue to expand, 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 expand. Um, Homestead Defender, old world stuff. Uh, you know what? Let's go with this guy. Get slightly more attack and defense. That'd be kind of nice, right? We like attack and defense. Very, very good. Ryan Wilson. Give me a winter specialist. Hammond is ours. Go all the way to Mile City. <clears throat> 
course, we will take it, uh, inspiration from the fort. All construction manuals illustrate large forts. Fantastical, really, but wondrous nonetheless. Perhaps we can repurpose these designs, but modify them for our needs. Hey, encirclements. Hey, six divisions encircled. Say it so. Historians, huh? There we go. So our land doctrine is almost done. Some stuff with heirs doctrines. Why not? Um, Mr. Stranger, go and get rooted. Let's take a look. We have two, which is not bad. Spec ops. Uh, Excuse me, game. There you go. All right, so let's come up here. Let's see what we can do about this. The darned rock ridge, eh? All right, so with that we will probably put one of these guys here. We'll put level one. And level two because you can. Because why not? So the workshops will get done. If that's weaponry, it would not be bad, but. Oh! The mad trains, eh? Purge the rot. Well, we'll get there eventually. Northern Development Project? Sure, why not? Another division? Yes, police. Scan with, with lay vehicles. And right now, this is all the core territory that we have over around here. Um, I've been pushing down further this direction, but as you can see, there's like 2,500 people per. Territory or province, which is very annoying. I'm trying to get as many cords as possible, so. But we keep building. We keep doing. And we'll probably do this one off screen as well. The People's Volunteer Corps. Our devoted soldiers have inspired awe and onlookers. Many have flowed in the recruitment offices requesting work as volunteers. It's a pleasant surprise we weren't prepared for. Let's round up these volunteers and put them where they'll shine. Alright, what are we missing? Portable radios, infantry armor, um, support equipment, AA gear. I don't want to reuse this. Usually you should have an Air Force that can help deal with that, but you know, sometimes you haven't. Support robots, slowly making some more equipment as well. Not bad overall. Um, can you guys do anything here? This could help support the attack. Could. And there we go, nice. Um, flamethrowers. I'm gonna say a flamethrower just because it seems pretty cold up here in this part of Canada, probably, I'd assume. So, oh, Rose, you're in the NCR, huh? Nice. There you go. There you go. No damage, huh? Kinda sucks. Very good. Um, stability, yeah. Stability is king. Easterville. Oh, where are they going? Nice. Perch the rot, the bridge. Sure. All right. So now we can go to war with the unbound. We don't sure why we can go to war with them, seeing as we don't even have anything connected to them. Do we have anything against historians? No, not within our focus tree, so let's go and make up a reason to go to war with them. Take a look, see, 35 days ain't too shabby, I'd say so myself. Do some of that there too. And, so we got that one, take inspiration. Beating the people's not bad, solving the shortage with the velvet glove would have been nice to do, but oh well. And once we go through these guys, then we can go to war with uh, Havre. Havre. Have. Ra. Rahav. Nice. Scavengers Triumph. Bonus robotics. That's okay, I guess. Bubble Three Rivers. We're getting quite strong. 
quite strong arenos. Yeah, that's not bad for now. I'll go right there, I'll go right there. I don't know, we'll see how far we get with this campaign. I'm thinking we might actually just take out as much Canada as possible. That's a lot of Canada, though. So, I don't know. It's a great white wall, huh? Of course, taking these guys up would take, no, should take too long. Just to find out all these different places might take a while, though. We'll see. Form the peasant militia. Land doors are nice. Let's go with the reliability for this one. Because things might break. You never know. Oh, maybe not. Well, high pressure. Two, that's not bad. Keep, go, go that much for now. All right. We ball. And I got three days left. Not quite that one yet. Uh, People's Volunteer Corps. Why not? Oh. They want to force defense? Well, well, we'll force attack. Well, they just lost over 600 divisions. Or divisions, no. Manpower, 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 manpower. They're dropping. Kind of insane to see how badly they're losing their guys, but that's alright with us. Um, feeding the people? With both the bridge and staying back territories in our hand, uh, let's expe we expect to see great progress in people's prosperity. Let's continue to improve, push, or pushing these improvements to polish. So, all the energy shortage. We discovered an old world solar panel plant within the staying back. Our researchers note that if we could get the plant back up and running, the work energy generating uh, could power the entirety of three rivers and then some. It'd be in our best interest to move our brightest minds and engineers to this plant. Hawkeye, huh? Not bad. Pretty good. The Eastern Legion. Oh, good job, Eastern Legion. And good job. The historians are now ours. Well, uh, you can probably tell what time it is now. Um, a little bit of fun. Recon 2 would be very nice. Recon 3? Sure, why not? Uh, we should be able to break over here relatively easily. Um, or the river. There's quite a long river around here. As we're currently doing is solve the energy shortage. Go, 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 and segments would be nice, but we'll see if we can actually make any. And take inspiration from the fort, yes. Oh, and segment down here, yes. Very good. Kinsey. Very nice. Not put rod, of course. So we got all that stuff done, which is nice. Um, uh, the state of Moose Jaws. Hey. Top of my horde. Mad trains. Well, um, like I said, I do want to say this one for maybe the next episode. Uh, still got a lot to do on this side. Free Navy? Why not? Opportunities for those who can take it, both land and sea. The channels are abundant to us. we would be foolish to pursue without a solid naval force. Let's start recruiting. Also, we did go to here because we didn't want to get more divisions and whatnot, too. So, that'd be very nice. Uh, Mad Baron. By production. Unbound. Then we can go to war with these guys next, right? There's no way we can actually get over there, which does suck. How about Jackson's? It's such a long time. We'll do that. 155. Well, it doesn't help out that much. I'll do that. But in the meantime, we just need a lot more political power. That's all. Do we have anyone else? It's alright. Amos. During. Just come out here first. It's fine. Kind of hang out. Just kind of hang out. <coughs> Electrical stuffs. Oh, we're almost done with a lot of the stuff here, which is cool. Uh, look at some combat blooms. I think I said we might use those. We'll see. Maybe not. But yeah. These guys are next. And. Never do that one. More support. Ooh. Let's go into vehicles too. Take infrastructure from the fort, free the navy, the marine corps, and whatnot. Oh, uh, the navy, the free established. Our special forces are slowly learning to be masters of the ways, but we can always be greater. Center forces soon intense training, and they'll be returning brand new. 
recon troopers. There's no one more capable than a Marine Corps, many of whom have shown interest in taking their training and duty to a higher level. Let's round up our resources and make room for some recon troopers. Uh, doing their part. For too long have the women of the Republic been overshadowed. Everyone deserves a chance to flourish and polish their talents. First step is to let them know by word of mouth and colorful flowers that they can do their part. Iron Brigade, of course. I'm um, getting power armor units, so, I mean, eh, power armor. As much as I want to use them, we'll use special forces for this campaign, maybe. We already made them. We don't have to keep using them. So, ah, uh, free the Navy. Iron Brigade. For when the soldiers of heavy steel march closer from the horizon, many of the citizens release their breaths. The Iron Brigade keeps us safe. The Iron Brigade paves our way. Your advantage demand tribute. No, we're not going to do that. Southern Trails. Sure. Well, South of Republic may not be the most productive, it has many great industrial mines we can support. Old George's engineering firm could easily draw up thousands of plans to improve our industrial prowess. Construction barges. Um, while not much land is affordable to the Republic, we can still exploit the waters around us by using barges to transport materials. Perhaps maybe we can even build a few cranes with it to speed up construction, constructing ports. And purge a rock. Within the depths of newly conquered territories, as a group of Roman raiding ghouls, we'll send out a good deal of our men to hunt this pack down and purge them from the face of the earth. Our new citizens will have this act of generosity. They'll love it, for sure. You guys keep training. 16,000 is pretty darn good. And over here, um, robots, vehicles. There you go. New crossroads. It's fine for now. And free the Navy. How much further do we have to go? We're almost, we've are almost we almost got them. they got six divisions left. Which is very, very nice. Not for their soldiers learning even more. Let's go look. Okay. Okay. It's not doing very much right now, but whatever. Maybe a little more stability if you can. That'd be great. Keep swinging your swords, even though I don't know. I don't remember giving them swords at all. But whatever. Is that it? Oh, not quite. Yeah, there's just so many nations up here now. It's ridiculous. It's kind of nuts. Cool. We got a while. Shall we follow the National Guard? And we have them. Very cool. But if you enjoyed this episode, please do consider leaving a like. Oh, look, we have a new Viral Territories up here. That's really cool. Oh, that's really nice. Subscribe if you're new under Hayes. Uh, check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we'll continue with our expansion of our territories of Canada and North and S Northwest America. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.